Good morning everyone, happy Monday. It is 6.30 and I'm already here at work. I got my coffee this morning, I got my breakfast, and I'm on a mission. So last year I was not thinking and I wrote numbers on my carpet spots. So I went ahead and spray painted the tops of them black uh, just to cover up the numbers. So they have color on the bottom but they're black on the top. So right now I am going to lay all of these down. Right now I have 26 children and I want them to be centered here in front of the whiteboard and smart board. So I'm just gonna start by laying like my center people and then build from there. And then after this, I'm gonna try and move my tables to where I want them to be. I did move my small group table over to where it's going to be. And then I just need to place the rest of these tables in the spot that they're going. classroom setup you know you think something's gonna work and then it doesn't end up working out clearly I have spaced my sit spots a little bit too far from each other so I'm gonna have to go back and kind of scoot them closer together but that's totally okay hey guys welcome back so I am in my classroom it is Monday the 6th and I've been working all day long and I am finished with my room and tonight is meet the teacher so I'm getting ready for that I have things on the board, I've got stuff out for kids to do, and I think tomorrow I'm going to do my, I'm not going to do a room tour because I want to wait until the school year has begun so that I can really show you guys what a third grade classroom actually looks like, but I will do just like a brief like overview of the things I did for this year and just show you everything in the room itself. There are still some things that need to be done, but I'm saving them for tomorrow because tonight's just meet the teacher and I didn't really need to have every single thing done. So I'm just going to give you a brief overview of each of the areas of the room and then I will do a more detailed tour later on this month. Okay, so this is the wall that you see as you walk in the door. This board thing is getting ready to be hung up. Those are going to be backpack hooks and so that won't be on the ground actually. And I'm leaving these borders off until they hang that just so that if I don't need to hang them, then I won't. So here's this wall. I have my teacher space over there. And then we're gonna pan this way. Basically the room, I've got my uh, carpet spots set out up front and then I have room for all my small group uh, configuration. I do have to put my teaching desk behind my students, but it shouldn't be a big deal since I don't really sit at a teaching desk while I'm teaching anyways. But um, for dot camera and everything, it will be back here and then I will be mostly like up here and around everywhere. So that is what the room is looking like right now. And I'm really excited to give you guys the actual tour. But like I said, I'm gonna wait a little bit until the school year actually starts because then I'll have like my job chart and all that stuff kind of up over there and everything else. So I um, hope you guys like the room and I'm gonna go get ready for Meet the Teacher. Hi everyone, good morning. So today is Tuesday, August 7th, and I am working in my classroom. Tomorrow is the first day of school, so I'm getting everything prepped and ready for next, or sorry, this week and next week. So right now I'm just working on some schedule cards, and I don't have a TPT store, guys. I'm really sorry, um, but everything I have is made like 
with bare minimum stuff. Like I think I created this on PowerPoint and I just put in some like rectangles, some font, and then I put my Bitmojis in there. And now I'm just laminating them. So super simple. And then I'm getting things together like copies and stuff that the kids are gonna need for this week. And then once I'm finished with like some little last minute like classroom things like this, then I will actually sit down on my computer and actually start getting things like super prepped for um, this week and next week. I have all of the plans written down um, in plan book for these first couple of days. And so now I just need to like sit down and go through all the materials that I'm going to need, everything I need to print out, stuff like that. So today is about prep and finishing up the classroom. I do have the entire day to myself to work in here. Uh, there is a small little new to the school meeting at two o'clock for any pressing questions that we have. So I am going to go to that just so that I can learn like how to send documents to the printer and things like that. I have my technology that I need to set up here. And so we have lots to do, but I did start a to-do list and I already have two out of two items that are on the to-do list done. Sorry, I'm cutting my own head off here, but, um, and that to-do list is going to grow as the day progresses. So hopefully I can get all of that done and be ready for tomorrow. The goal is to have everything, everything for tomorrow and the rest of this week 100% prepped so that all I have to do on the first day and the second and the third is just relax during my lunch and my recess time and maybe start thinking about like plans for the upcoming weeks. I have my Cricut because I need to make a couple of bulletin board um, headings. I need to make one for my math board and I need to make one for my ELA board. Um, basically my content boards are two in one. So I have this big black board right here, but basically on this side of the board is gonna be ELA and on this side of the board is gonna be math and it's all gonna be focused around what we're actually learning at that moment. So like I was saying, I plan on just having like the daily or weekly anchor chart hanging here. And then on this side, I'll have like vocabulary slash like, you know, silent teachers, same thing with over here. I plan on doing the headings right above the anchor charts and then just making sure that like everything to the side of the anchor chart is matching with the subject. Okay, so they just came in to hang the board and apparently pest control says that backpack hooks have to be 18 inches apart. So they took the board and I'm going to just put the backpacks on the floor for now. And I think maybe later today I'll go to Walmart and get a couple more of these um, buckets and then just put like five or six backpacks in each bucket because I don't have anywhere else to put them. Um, and <laughs> It would be nice if people would tell you these rules. Um, I've worked in schools before where the backpack hooks were like literally inches apart from each other, so I'm not really sure where that rule came from. So I'm a little bit angry. I'm a little bit angry and agitated about this because now I have to go spend my own money to hang the back or store the backpacks. And it's just very annoying when you have a plan and the plan does not work or somebody bursts your bubble. So I was kind of, you know, a little bit cranky with them, but I'm sure you could imagine why. So I'm just gluing magnets on the back of my schedule cards and they're going to live up on the whiteboard. So I'm just um, hot gluing these. These magnets I think came from Hobby Lobby and they're recycled from last year and the year before. So I used to use them for like student names. Um, and so now I'm using them for schedule cards. Good morning, everyone. Today is the first day of school. So it's my first drive to work on a normal school day. And it is six o'clock in the morning. Whew. 
It is, I'm feeling six o'clock in the morning. Even though I've been leaving home like way earlier than six o'clock in the morning for the last few days, it still feels really early. I think it's just because today I actually like took the time to get myself ready ready. I probably won't do my hair this often in the school year. I probably won't have my makeup done this nice during the school year but it is nice on the first day of school to make a good first impression. Um, I struggled with trying to find something to wear and it's weird because every year I like go back to school shopping and I try to find something super cute to wear. And this year I just didn't do that. I didn't go back to school shopping. I didn't like say, oh, this is gonna be my first day of school outfit. I literally pulled from what I had and what I noticed was I have a lot of teacher t-shirts but I don't have a lot of like professional wear. So I think maybe this weekend, Cash and I will go out and we'll go shopping and I'll get myself a couple of outfits. Now, I have mentioned before, I am 20 pounds heavier than I normally am. And so picking out clothes and wearing things that I normally would is harder for me because I'm not used to having like this belly and I'm not used to having like thicker legs. So it's kind of a struggle, but I am really going to try to work hard and eat better and exercise and so that I can feel myself again. So I'm not gonna stop for coffee this morning because my teammate is bringing all of us coffee, but I do need to stop for breakfast. I think I'm gonna wait though until I'm a little bit closer to work just so that I'm not like, because the earlier I leave from home, the faster I get to work because the traffic isn't bad yet. So if you guys are just watching my channel, if you guys are just now joining my channel, I live about 40 minutes away from work so I have quite the commute in the morning. Half of it is side streets and half of it is freeway. So once I get to the freeway, I'm good to go. It's smooth sailing. But getting to the freeway is always the slowest part because there's so many stoplights and there's a lot of traffic in my small town. So, and my town isn't really small. I mean, it's small itself, but the population is not small. So that means lots of traffic. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drive and be safe and I will catch up with you guys when I get to my classroom. Hey guys, so I just walked in the door of my classroom. So I'm just going to um, quickly just make sure I have everything set for today and then I'm probably gonna start actually working on some stuff for the end of this week and then beginning next week. The printer is, uh, the copier is not being used currently so I'm gonna like take advantage and get some stuff printed for next week because I am gonna start instruction next week and I just want to get a spot at the printer now before everyone else is here because I do have quite a lot to print. So, so I'm really quickly gonna just show you guys what I'm wearing for the first day of school. So I have on this just like flowered kind of top. I think I got this at TJ Maxx or like Ross or something forever ago, but it's like the sheer, so I have a tank top underneath. And then I have on this black skirt and this is from Amazon. And I forget the brand, but um, Jennifer actually bought a couple of these and then inspired me to get them. This lighting is awful. So yeah, that's the skirt. And then I'm just wearing these little like wedge heels. They're so comfortable. I've had them for years and I wore them a lot when I was pregnant and they're just really comfortable. So also wearing lip scents and the color is caramel apple and it looks like this and I'm going to make sure I keep glossing today because I don't want it to go anywhere. It will go places. So I'm opening up my to-do list and I just have it in my Erin Condren planner and I just put it here. This is today, Let's see, this is today. I don't have anything filled in because I have it all in plan book, but I'm planning to use my Erin Condren planner to plan ahead and then do my detailed plans in plan book since there isn't a lot of room in here. So as you can see, I do have stuff written down for tomorrow and then um, as the weeks progress, I will just like do my like basic plans in here 
like what standard I'm teaching, the activity I'm gonna do, and then I'll actually plug everything into plan book. So I'm just gonna go through my to-do list. I need to print and um, yeah, it's gonna be a great day. At my school, I don't have a copy count, so I'm really happy about that. I can like print the entire file that I need and I don't have to worry about going over the copy count. Hi everyone, so the day is over. I have to tell you guys, I wanted to vlog so many things today, but unfortunately, I just didn't have time. I can already tell that my students are gonna be amazing. I believe I'm the only teacher on campus that's doing like full on flexible seating. And so my kids didn't really have any opportunities previously to experience it. So it was a completely new thing to them and they did so good. I did not have one single problem. I did not have one single behavior issue and I just think it's gonna be a really amazing year. I can already see the ones that are gonna need a little bit more attention than others, but I really think that with a good management system, you can have difficult instances become positive. So, I'm really excited about that. Somebody brought me this giant thing of crayons. I'm super excited about that. I'm gonna have to like keep that somewhere special. And we did the little all about me's today, and that was fun. I'm just putting away all the supplies that my students brought to me today. I told the parents at Meet the Teacher Night that they didn't really need anything. Anything that they brought that they wanted to use for themselves, I had them keep in their backpack, and then throughout the day, if they needed it, they were able to move it from their backpack into their book bin. So that's where they're keeping their like individual supplies. I got a ton of hand sanitizer. Yes, because you guys know hand sanitizer is definitely a necessity in the elementary school world. So I'm excited for that. Overall, it was a great day. Like I said, I didn't really have a whole lot of time to vlog because first of all, oh, here comes my teammate. I hear you. I'm coming in too. Hi. Hi. Are we recording me? Yes. <laughs> this is Kayla. <laughs> She's passing through. And I'm going home. Are you? Yes. I'm gonna go home pretty soon too. You're I was going just. To the gym, girl. You're going to the gym? Yeah. I need to do that. So yeah. So um, I ended up taking my kids to music, but I didn't have music today because it's. Wednesday and I thought it was Monday so we went ahead and walked to music and when we got there there was another class going in so we just went back to class and finished up what we were doing and it was just fun and dandy so um, it really threw me because I thought it was clearly I thought it was Monday and it was not so that was funny it was a total rookie mistake but you know what if that was the only mistake I made and the only thing I forgot today then I am happy. So um, I'm gonna get going, you guys. But first day of school is over. I'm really excited to film my room tour. I think I'll probably do it next week. Um, just because my mom's coming next week and I can stay at school a little bit later on those days. Tomorrow is an early day for me because I have to get cash to the babysitter by 6.30, which gets me, or sorry, seven, which gets me here at 7.30, and I actually have duty at 8 o'clock. So what that means is I'm not going to have a lot of time to prep. So on Wednesday nights, I'm here a little bit longer than normal. Tomorrow from 8 o'clock until 8.20, I'm at the parent drop-off gate. And I'm pretty sure I just stand there. So at 8.20 on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have duty. I'm going to put that into my iPad now. Today at recess... I set all of my reminders on my iPad. So a little teacher tip for you guys. If you have an electronic device in your room or even on your phone, um, just set alarms for all your important things. I have one set for every time the us as a class leaves the room and one for every time I need to leave the room. So like five minutes before I need to pick up my students, I have an alarm so that I'm reminded to use the restroom and things like that. And then five minutes before we need to leave or five minutes before our special or lunch or recess starts, I have a timer to just remind me to get them ready for that. 
So I'm just gonna add those timers um, for duty. So at 8.50, or sorry, 7.55, I'm setting a reminder to go out for duty. It's just helpful because, you know, as teachers, we have so many things to try and remember and setting a reminder might just, you know, ease your mind and make it a little bit easier to remember everything else. So, 7.55, Tuesdays and Thursdays, save. We're calling that duty, got it. All right, you guys, that's all I've got for today. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry it wasn't like super detailed or anything, but first day of school is always like super busy. Oh, I was gonna tell you guys, my backpack hooks did get hung. My principal came in this morning with his drill and hung them up for me. So I'm really, really happy about that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.